All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it, man. NBA 2K23, man, we got some news today. Uh, they've been tweeting. We did a lot of stuff about Mike Wong tweeting last night. Make sure y'all go back and watch that video. But today, we're talking about the GOATS boat. Soon you'll be making another round. We're talking about current gen, the GOAT boat. And all, all that good stuff, man. So if you don't do nothing else, man, make sure y'all like the video because not only does liking the video help us get closer to that oh-so-coveted 100K, but also you get in it for a free chance to win a free copy of 2K the day that it comes out. So all you got to do is like the video, comment on the video, man, and that's going to help y'all out, man. But hey, without further ado, let's just get the video underway. So just straight up, bro, we just going to go through this. Um, they dropped the tweet, and it just says, All aboard the GOAT boat. Play on an all-new cruise liner equipped with more courts, improved matchmaking, and interactive quests, uh, you know, coming to current gen, man. Now, they didn't, there's no volume in this joint, and it's just really just a video going in the background. And uh, to be honest with y'all, man, it looks like they're trying to get into the short game. It's like a little, it's just a little nine-second joint, bro, and it is showing you the GOAT boat. I don't know if this thing's supposed to move. You know, they told us last year it's going to be going places. It's going to be docking in places and stuff like that. Uh, it really didn't happen like that. I mean, it did, but it didn't. But it wasn't the way that we thought it was, man. So, you know, it is what it is. But what we did get was a courtside report or, you know, a little unveil. And we just going to go through this real quick. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to get up out of here, man. You know, let y'all do what y'all do. And let y'all also go back and watch those videos. Because we've been dropping heller and not mean heller videos got another short coming today man we, we, we trying to get this thing popping man but it says unrivaled competition awaits you on the goat boat the neighborhood set sail again in nba 2k 23 on current gen but this stuff see y'all be talking about last gen and stuff see they literally still calling it current gen so don't talk to me don't y'all talk to me in the comments about no current versus it's new gen and now no no shut the f up shut the f up like 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 hard eight times tell them man look man but this time aboard the goat boat equipped with more courts and new quests this year we're making a splash hey look they marketing team is, is second to none bro they, they get this point across and everybody loves this stuff so you know it is what it is it says all aboard the nba 2k 23 all aboard nba 2k 23 is ready to set sail on current gen consoles and you don't want to miss your chance to stay on this year's luxury cruise liner nba 2k 22 introduced an all-new neighborhood taking place on the concha del mar uh, the vessel said that the vessel sailed through uncharted waters, taking you, <laughs> taking you and fellow hoopers on the scenic, it, it's on scenic excursions and hope and hosting well-sized events. The neighborhood will once again call, uh, once again call a luxury cruise liner home, NBA 2K23. But the Contra Del Mar has been replaced with the goat boat. The goat boat. And it says, coming to the dock near you on PlayStation, blah, 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 blah. So, look, we just know it's coming to us. All that good stuff. Environment changes. For the next 12 months, players will call the goat boat home and take part in a myriad uh, of competitions during the, the, this time frame. Uh, life, life aboard the Contra Del Mar was, by, was buoyant and eventful. But the goat boat is entirely new is an entirely new experience and equipped with more accessible with a more accessible layout you'll notice the difference between the constant del mar and the goat boat such as the deck system the promenade uh among uh, and, and the promenade amongst others the, the thing about the deck system is man sometimes the elevator didn't even work man but you know we're not talking about that right now we wanted to ensure that the cruise ship is accommodating as as, as accommodating as possible during your stay so this year, we prioritize more game modes, more courts, uh, broader lanes, uh, and hallways for smoother traversal and more centralized promenade to tie everything together. So, you know, check out the GOAT boat. So here we go, uh, six 3v3 courts, there we go, on the platinum deck, uh, you know, platinum deck trips, there we go. Uh, four elevators, two showers, what the world, showers? Server refresh, okay, so that's server refresh, okay, fine, it's like the, uh, like the train station maybe they made that work finally it never has worked in any 2k properly but you know it is what it is gatorade training facility then you also got the platinum deck uh you got 2v2 courts and the platinum take deuces 2v2 courts three elevators two showers so that's server refresh so you don't have to leave and come back platinum deck moat two 5v5 courts 
won more than last year. So did people even play up there last year? I don't know because I didn't play a whole lot of current gen. I'm planning on doing it this year just because I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm going with the views on man. I'm a content creator. I'm going with the views. I'm even doing modded stuff this year. So I will have current gen, but y'all might be seeing if you see a lot of current gen, you're probably gonna see a lot of current gen from the from the uh, PC perspective or something like that, man. So y'all just keep that in mind. But anyway, uh, where, where do we leave off? So yeah, 5v5, of course. But yeah, let me know if anybody played up there on the Platinum, of course. If they put two more up there, they must have played. This one pr pretty much be like the Jordan Rex Center, except for it's not really the Jordan Rex Center. So if nobody played, then that's probably why they're not bringing it back. But you know what it is, what it is. Two elevators, two showers, and then entrance to excursions. You got the Jordan Challenge on the Silver Deck Promenade. Looks looks really dope in the background. You got the rec lounge. Hey, the rec lounge. That's that's how it was last year. I don't know how it's gonna look. K, they haven't shown us. They just got they just showing the rec lounge, so we don't know how it's gonna look when we go in there. The cages are back. The cages must be like the most popular game play game mode other than play now, man. Cause I ain't gonna lie, bro. They really put cages and everything, and they really put a lot into cages. At first, it was sponsored, but then it's not sponsored, and then I, I don't know, man. It is what it is. NBA store swags. Row sporting goods, wheels, docks, uh, the paint shop, uh, the paint, the uh, you know, tattoos, partner stores, my team, and the galleon 1v1. So, yeah, hey, you get the galleon 1v1, man. So, a lot of people have been asking about that. Hey, there we go. Send them to the gallows. The bridge 3v3. So, I'm wondering if the bridge 3v3 is that gonna be like the um. Is that gonna be like 3v3, 3v3 Pro-Am or whatever? Or is that gonna be some type of 3v3 matchmaking? We don't know. Um, it, it doesn't say, but I would assume it would be 3v3 Pro-Am, but maybe it's gonna be some type of match. Hey, we don't know, man. Hopefully that's what it's gonna be, but we gonna see. Daily pick them. You got your daily prize, and then you got two elevators, man. You know, it, it is what it is. Hey, we got Gold Deck. My court and Annie up. So we got full time Annie up. The showroom, do we say the game room and the promenade have merged into a single level this year, making it easier to easier than ever to visit swags and the NBA store and more before heading to the galleon for some 1v1 action. The bridge for 3v3. They, they're not clarifying the bridge, but you know it is what it is. Uh, in addition, we've added showers which allow you to quickly change servers. Elevators have been updated to include fast travel between key points but you know that's that always happened but it didn't always work and and can also be used to access offshore events so that's gonna be dope there's much there's much to explore this year on the goat boat around the ship you'll notice state-of-the-art facilities and d decadent decadent environment fostering and experience uh, decadent environment fostering an experience you won't find elsewhere unless you go to the city or whatever more ways to play this year's features this year features more variety when it comes to matchmaking as we're adding no weight gameplay to to complement got next spots okay that's dope uh whether so maybe that's where you're gonna go for the three on three joint so maybe it is matchmaking uh whether you're itching to suit up with your friends or maybe that's gonna be like the random joint maybe the, maybe the three on three the the deck is like the uh it's like 3v3 randoms where you can't squad up or something like that because the marketplace was not the marketplace but the uh where old warehouse was super popular on next gen so maybe they brought bring it in the current gen we're gonna see uh whether you're itching to suit up with your friends or test your ability to mess with random players in pickup games you have the ability to pair up quicker in nba 2k 23 together got next spots and no weight gameplay will diminish wait times and keep you on the court longer i'm gonna tell you one thing though man but it was already so hard to get games in on on current gen sometimes i'm not talking about all the time i'm talking about sometimes that if you put the matchmaking in it might actually kill the the, the platinum deck of the goat boat but we, we don't know man it is what it is uh similar to the wreck when you go to join a game you'll be automatically matched up with fellow players cutting down on wait times got next spots will still be an option for joining games but now you have the uh, now you have options when it comes to matchmaking so you got a matchmaking option but it still is not very clear whether or not you can go you can take three people into the into the uh into the three on three deck whatever season preview last year we took players on an exotic excursion around the world and in this process we showcased scenic courts and bounty and a bounty of awards we're thrilled to announce that we, we will once again revisit some popular destinations from last year in addition to, to playing and to taking players to all new locations in international waters but we aren't going to reveal we're not going to reveal where just yet. However, 
you can look forward to one of the one of the new excursions and one new on deck event each season so that's gonna be dope i guess throughout the year the goat boat will receive cosmetic updates to match the vibe of each season keeping things fresh and festive course will feature thematic design thematic designs and logos will be updated on the 2v2 3v3 5v5 keep your eyes on the horizon for season one news and updates coming soon and it just says you know this is a, i guess this is a little bit of a thing like a uh, quest so you still got quest what's new quest uh, man, you know, they're talking about some stuff dominating every game mode uh, and rival player on the goat boat never gets old But if you're looking for some if you're looking for for more to do You'll be happy to hear that quest to return to NBA 2k 23 on the content of Mar Players had the opportunity to explore the cruise ship by interacting with NPCs this year You'll be able to explore the goat boat in a similar fashion, but Well, well, I mean, but but with some tweaks added, uh, let's see let's see what else we got to receive to receive quests in NBA 2K23, you must interact with the NPCs previously. Uh, quests NPCs previous previously quests would appear in the in your quest journal, but this year you won't automatically be assigned. We are will also be in introducing a new type of quest in addition to daily, weekly, and seasonal called uh, rival quests. Okay, that's gonna be dope. Compete against the AI with the established storyline. Where you go one, where you go toe to toe, one v one. These quest features, key NP, these quest features, key NPCs you will you will interact with through throughout the course of the game. Experience a more immersive story this year with rival NPCs and realistic storylines and authentic dialogue. Closing remarks. Hey, this is all we got, man. This, this is where we at. Uh, this year is filled with a larger than life event. It's filled with larger than life events challenging quests and more courts than ever before um, we're so excited that we're so excited to share everything that lies in store but the wait is almost over so you won't so we won't spoil it the goat boat cast off on september 9th on playstation 4 xbox nintendo switch and pc so pc gonna be on current gen again prepare uh for upcoming charter season of the goat boat blah 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 and then uh we just talk about some what some people had to say about it man hey <laughs> swante just came straight out and said you fucking l too many too many fucking courts i can't get games i can't get games why don't y'all listen everyone runs why don't you make half half the two courts uh half the three courts how many years people gotta complain other than other than that it looks better uh, it looks better, but people want to play the game. Yeah, that's 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 right. And then dude said, this is current here. W or L? I mean, it's a W. I'm going to put W. Hey, it's 50%. I think this is just what some people got. Hey, he's saying, I'm going next gen. I ain't going to lie. So most people saying they're going to next gen, but this is most of his followers and stuff like that. The real thing that I got to say about it, man, I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. And uh, it just is. It just, it's, it's current gen. They are putting a lot into it. Um, I'm glad they are putting a lot into it, but at the same time, they have to, at some point, the, the focus has to shift to next gen. And I know that it sucks for the people that are not able to get the thing, but I ain't gonna lie, bro. Y'all can do a firm, you can do afterpay. It's, it's a whole lot of stuff you can do if you want to get that get that PlayStation or that Xbox, and you just pay it off month by month, man. Cause I mean, it just, it just it's really that simple. It's really not hard to get. All you gotta do is go on Target, go on um, Walmart, something like that order one of them joints you ain't got to pay scalper prices somebody was like the, the prices went up but that's overseas and stuff it's not going up the price has not gone up here anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed the video man and uh i'm out with y'all next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's tap guys speak, guys speak.